In the previous video lecture, we studied three main mechanisms of central B cell tolerance. Autoreactive B cells may survive through receptor editing, undergo clonal deletion, or become anergic. But, B cells do not encounter all the self antigens in the bone marrow. Once B cells start circulating, they come in contact with tissue specific cell surface proteins, secreted proteins, etc. Thus, autoreactive B cells that escape the central B tolerance now enter peripheral circulation. Let's find out how peripheral tolerance prevent activation of such B cells when they encounter their specific antigens. To understand peripheral B cell tolerance we should be familiar with the mechanisms of B cell activation. Let's recall B cell activation mechanisms in brief. B cell activation is of two types and, this depends on, the type of antigens encountered by the B cells. T independent, B cell activation takes place when the antigen encountered by B cell is multivalent. The first signal for B cell activation is generated by clustering or cross-linking of B cell receptors on binding to multivalent antigen. The second and the final signal for B cell activation is generated by danger signals such as PAMPs associated with that antigen. T dependent B cell activation takes place when the antigen is not multivalent. For example protein antigens. In this case, activation of B cell takes place by a three signal process. Signal 1 is derived from the antigen recognition and bind B cell receptors of the B cell. Once signal 1 is received by the B cell, the B cell now interacts with a T helper cell. Note that. This T helper cell is also activated by the same antigen to which B cell binds. The CD40 receptor of cells binds to CD40 ligand of T helper cells. This generates the second signal for B cell activation. Finally, the third signal for B cell activation is provided by cytokines secreted by T helper cell. This results in the proliferation and differentiation of B cells into antibody secreting plasma cells. Now suppose these are the B cells that migrated to periphery from the bone marrow. If B cells bind very strongly to a multivalent self antigen, it receives a signal to undergo apoptosis. And if there is a weak interaction or no interaction then, such B cells mature further in the peripheral lymphoid organs. The main mechanism of peripheral B cell tolerance is energy. Suppose, this is an autoreactive B cell in the periphery. It recognizes and binds its specific self antigen. Now as we said, B cell activation requires D cell help. This also means that, the T helper cell must be autoreactive to the same self antigen which autoreactive B cell encounters. But, autoreactive T cells are also eliminated in central lymphoid organs by mechanisms of central tolerance. Therefore, without T cell help, such autoreactive B cells will not be able to receive the second signal and consequently the third signal for its complete activation. In the absence of signal 2 and signal 3, autoreactive B cells become unresponsive. They become anergic B cells. These anergic B cells eventually die by apoptosis. Thus, the main mechanism of peripheral B cell tolerance is energy followed by apoptosis. In the next video lecture, we will talk about autoimmunity. Please do subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.